Ryan. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great week. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make an assumption. Have the courage to ask questions until you're as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to a question, you won't have to make the assumption because you'll know the truth. You know, I, I, I've been reading these cards forever, and I, I, I dig these cards. I think it's, this one's always a tough one, though. What happens if they don't tell you the truth? Yeah. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 46, NASDAQ up 35, S&P's up 6. Uh, Percentage-wise out here, what you had, folks, is this, is that you had the Dow Industrials up uh, two-tenths of one percent, NASDAQ five-tenths, S&P's six-tenths. That being said, uh, this market gave it up on price, gave it up on volume in an incredible way, actually. If we go take a look at the Dow Industrials, what you're going to see up here, uh, the high today in the Dow Industrials was 24,373. Bottom line is that we gave up 400 points coming into the close. Um, big number. Um, S&P's, we take a look at the SPY, what you're going to see with the SPY, uh, SPY was uh, traded up to uh, 264.84, uh, right now uh, that was uh, $5.11, bottom line you end up $1.11, we did 96 million shares versus 179 million. So what you have out here is that you still have an ABC structure on the way down, you have a confirmed ABC structure on the way down, inside the SPY, the Low of the SPY on the 9th of February uh, is 261. Your price projection on the SPY, folks, is 244. It's a monster number, man. It is a monster number. NDX 100. NDX 100 also has a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. That also gave it up in spades. Got to a high of 160.88, which would have been up $4 and, uh, yeah, $4 and uh, 10, 20 cents. Bottom line, end up closing up $1.10. You did 39 million shares versus 59 million downtown. Small caps also did the same type of setup. Small caps went from a price point of uh, 152.60 to 150.54. Now, let's go into the note market. So, all day long out here, um, you know, these notes have continued to basically not go down on price, up on yield. Uh, and that being in the face of, you know, the Fed saying, hey, listen, we're going to continue to go up on short-term rates. And in fact, if we look at the Fed, Fed, uh, Fed fund probability, uh, the probability is still there that at the uh, May 2nd meeting, there's a 72% chance that they are going to go up on short-term rates. Uh, what has happened uh, is that then the next uh, 1%, I mean, half a uh, quarter percent, 25 basis points, uh, would go in August. That's at 56%. Now, other than that, the, the scale goes down dramatically. That being said, uh, they were buying bonds all day long. Uh, you know, what notes and bonds had done is that they rejected lower price. They're in the high, they're not in the higher range, but what they did, they're on top of a consolidation that they had been in, and they broke, they started that consolidation in February, the beginning of February. They broke out of it about 10 trading days ago. They're not only out of it, bottom line looks to me like they want a lot higher price. Uh, we look at this 10 year because, because the 10 year and the 30 year had come down so fast. Uh, Bottom line, you can go up just as fast once you have built this uh, base, and there's a beautiful base here. So, you know, 10-year is game at uh, 123, and right now, your yield on the 10-year, uh, we are at 2.779. 30-year, 30 is even stronger. The 30-year uh, bottom line is already over uh, uh, at the February, uh, 60, February 6th level. Uh, well, actually, we're right underneath it. 146.21 is the number there. That's a high volume spike. This thing wants higher price. 30 year can get up into this uh, 153.14 area. So you're talking about big numbers. And the correlation there, of course, comes down that when they are basically uh, buying into the bond market, you've got to be careful about inside the equity market as to you know, what is actually happening. 
King Dollar. So let's go over and take a look at King Dollar. What do we have with King Dollar? King Dollar right now came into its swing point from March 1st. Didn't have the juice to take it out. Didn't even get to the high, actually. 90.490 is the number. Uh, we got to a price point out here is that we got to uh, 90.295. That was on Friday. Couldn't handle that price. We got up there with 22,000 contracts. Now, that's not bad contracts, uh, particularly after we had a nice sign of strength on the 28th. March 28th was a big day. That got up to 89.820. Uh, what does it do? Can't handle it. Not only that it can't handle it, folks, what you have is this. You came off this with 22,000 contracts, which is not huge contract volume. It's, it's decent. But you closed into all the highs going all the way back to January 15th. What well, that's setting up is that that's setting up going after the low of 87, 820. That being said, what you want to remember, depending on how long you've been listening to the program, is that the dollar is in a much larger ABC structure on the way down. And it's a long time one. I mean, what, what ends up happening is that you're talking about, uh, we're talking about monthly ABC structure on the way down. You know, from January of 2017, that's when the January 3rd, it actually topped out at 103. Does the first leg down into 90, which was on September of 2017. We broke that with conviction January of this year. So this number here, we're at 89,530. That number that it wants to go after is into the 83s. And the low is 78 of this little structure that we're in. What continues to hold it up, you know, if you're a bull in the dollar, what continues to hold it up is the highs of 2008, we're right at it, as well as the highs of 2010. You know, we've been building cars here for three months, and it, it'll take quite a bit to get into that. That's the real bottom line, and you can see that that's what's happening. You get under 80, let's say 88, and that will be fast and furious down to the 83 to 79 area. That's where we're at right now, and that's where the struggle is inside the metals market, inside gold, inside silver, uh, at those levels. That's the same type of level on the other side. Stay right there, folks. We come right back. We had the Dow Industrials uh, close uh, up 46, NASDAQ up 35, uh, S&P's up 14. Come right back.